She's warm and friendly and kind and approachable. But as I've gotten to know her on a deeper level, I know Dr. Roth is exceptionally driven and she's always on a journey for self-betterment, whether that's training for a marathon, taking an online course, teaching religion class at her local church. Teresa is always trying to be the best version of herself. Teresa is um, wonderful in, in the hospital and in the um, work environment. She's very professional, she's dependable, and most of all, um, the biggest thing I love about her is she's a lot of fun and she's very compassionate. Teresa's heart smiles all the time. You can see her love and compassion for those she interacts with, for those she's around. She is a very caring and loving person and um, she always brings laughter into everything she does. She is genuine. She wants to see herself and others not just do well, but to soar. I don't know anybody that's as deserving as Teresa is for this award. She has devoted many years of her life, her professional life and her personal life to the community um, and to making it a better place, not for herself, but for those around her. In her role at Shelby Hospital, uh, we're there to serve the community of Shelby and the surrounding area. And certainly she was at the forefront of providing excellent and outstanding quality care there at Shelby. And beyond that, wherever it was possible, she would partake in community service activities, whether it be the Red Cross or the Community Y or Chamber of Commerce or those things like that. So she was a very, very giving person of her time and talents. Teresa is well known throughout the county from many different organizations. But I know from at least my perspective and from the Shelby Foundation's perspective, her legacy is going to be the Women's Fund and what she has done to help women and children, not just from today, but for generations to come. She's all about relationships and connections. And Teresa always makes everybody feel special when she's in their presence. And I think that is Teresa's legacy. You, she, she makes you feel special no matter who you are, where you are, what you've done and where you came from you know that she supports you and that she has your back and that you are special. I find Teresa to be totally honest. And I think honesty is a, somewhat of a lost virtue these days. And you can count on her. I could, she's a very, very reliable individual. And uh, if there was tough times, that's the person I could turn to without question. So in 2019, um, when we had the tornado in Richland County, um, Teresa was personally impacted um, herself with you know, damage to her home and her property. Um, Teresa didn't care about that. She didn't think about that. She got in her car and she went to the hospital to make sure that our patients and community were being cared for, that our associates were okay, um, and that we had what we needed to, to lead through this emergency situation. Her service to the community actually what gives her energy and gives her passion. Teresa's left a, a lot of impressions, with positive impressions, with many, many people, myself included. As much as she felt I was a mentor to her, she was a mentor to me at the, at the same time. 